Hola, I'm Amanda Simcoe, and we are in the beautiful Galley Sink Test Kitchen inside Kitchen Ideas, and we are here for a very special Farmer's Market show. Cherry Street Farmer's Market opens its summer season this Saturday, April the 5th, and our dessert course is going to be prepared for us by Chef Michael Hobbs of Artisan Bakers. Welcome, Chef. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. What did you think of Rick Miller's short rib dish? Where's Rick? <laughs> oh, it was incredible. It was great. And... I hear that you have something spectacular to follow it up. Yes, um, dessert tonight, I'm doing a, uh, what I call a triple berry tart. The idea here was I wanted to create a dessert that anyone in this room or watching this could make at home. And also try to use as many ingredients as we can pull from the farmer's market as possible. Well, let's, let's have some triple berry tart. Okay, let's do this quickly. We're gonna make a quick dough, all right? So, two cups of butter, two cups of sugar, and we're gonna cream it. You guys know what that is, right? Okay, two eggs and three and a half cups of flour. Now shortbread is one of those you kind of want to sort of mix barely but not really. Yep. Because of the butter, it, it comes out wet when you first mix it. You put it in the fridge and let it rest for a few hours. Obviously it's going to stiffen up a little bit. It's easier to work with. And where do you source your berries from the Cherry Street Farmer's Market? My wife does my hunting and gathering on the, on uh. the, on the <laughs> All right, quickly, quickly here, we're gonna roll this dough out. Are there any bakers in here? People like to bake at home? I like knowing bakers. Yeah. <laughs> I like having baker friends. Yeah. So we're gonna line this pan. Tart pan. You guys know the difference between a tart pan and a pie pan, right? Nifty little bottom. Yeah, and bottom puffs out, huh? I always line mine with a little parchment so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. And the way that I get this up here, is I take a little cardboard round. Now, is that one of those pre-cut cake rounds you can find at the... You can. I, I cut that myself. Okay. Wow. Okay, so when you're at home making this, you take this out and put it on top. Very sneaky. Nice. I like it. Yeah. Then you can take an eye for your hand. <laughs> yeah. And it just pops right down there in the bottom. Okay. Now, a trick I learned when I first used to do these, I would, I would try to fill the whole thing up on the sides, but it sh the sides would shrink. So you start off with a nice looking tart and you'd end up with a cracker. <laughs> so what I do is I roll it out like a dowel and it slides in on the sides and then pinch it in. Huh. Okay. And this is why we bring the experts in to teach us these tricks. Pinch it in on the, on the bottom to seal it up. Now, are you going to par-bake this shell, or do you put your filling in? I do par-bake it. That's a good question. I par-bake it because if I don't, the filling, because keeps it's it so moist, wet. you know, keep it too wet, it'll stick to the, to the pan. <laughs> All right. So what's our oven at, and how long is that par-bake? Oven's at uh, 325, about 40 minutes. Takes a while. Okay, now the filling real quick. So we've par-baked this. It's nice and... All it's right. nice and golden brown and smells lovely. Yep. Two cups of sugar. Oh, we have berries. Two cups of assorted berries. Okay, first. Whatever seasonal berries we, we, that we have at the market. I've got blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries in here. Yum. Four eggs. The eggs are simply a binder. A little lemon zest. You can zest oh, it or you can plain it. And then... I cut it in half. And then just stir this together. I might be able to do this. Anyone in this room can do this. Okay, so I've mixed it. Goes right into that. This goes right into the shell. You don't want to overfill your shell, obviously. Unless you really like cleaning you, ovens. You want to go, yeah, exactly. A little over halfway. Okay, now we'll make the top real quick and then that'll be that. So we roll this out and you put your top on there and it's baked for 40 minutes at 325 to par-bake the crust. How long does it oh, bake? Oh, I'm finish? sorry, to par-bake the crust. I had that wrong. It's 12 minutes at 325. Okay, I was kind of, you said it takes a while. I'm kind of going, man, <laughs> it does take a while. So we par-bake the crust for 12 minutes. At 350. At 350. Top it. Top it. And then 40 minutes. Yep. Awesome. At that. You see how I folded that in half? Mm -hmm. And then in quarters. Then you take it and you drape it over the edge. The bottom part, right? 
20 part in the center. Yeah. Unfold it. It'll be a lot better at home when it's not as when it's when it's firmer. But see, and you're a master, so we figure we can put you on the spot. Pinch the edges off. And do you need to vent this, or is it nope. going to steam and explode yep. and do scary things? The idea behind this is, I like this tart to have a real rustic, kind of a country look. I don't like for it to be too formal. I do lots of egg too. Yep. Take that, put it in the oven, 325, 40, 45 mm -hmm. minutes, and you're good to go. Do you guys want to see the finished product yeah, here when it comes out? <coughs> so this is it. I've cut it already. But that's it when it comes out. And I don't know. I'm serving Thank this tonight you. with the Bavarian cream. Oh, that's okay. good. You can do that. And then we're going to do a little uh, sparkly wine with it. And I think it'll pair beautifully. All right. Check them out at the Cherry Street Farmer's Market. Thank you, Chef, for being here. Thank you to all of our chefs. To Penny and Scott for being here. Thank you to our audience for being here. We will catch you next time. We're going to eat some tart. Tune in next time on Tasting Oklahoma. I'm Amanda Simcoe. Have a tasty evening.